Alright guys, well, this is one morning with my dad out on Sandy Hook, and we're going to do some fluke fishing. My dad hasn't been on a beach in probably like 10 years, so this is the first time he's been on a beach in a very long time, and here we go, first cast, reeling it back in, I actually get a bite. And yeah, so that gives me hope that today is going to be a pretty good day, and that I could put my dad on some fish. So, uh, yeah, let's see what it is. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Oh, I snagged it. There we go, guys. <laughs> nice little fluke to start the day. I'm hoping, usually at this spot, you don't catch too many big ones, so I'm just hoping to get on uh, a lot of numbers. This is more of a spot where you catch numbers over size. Uh, and I know most people would be like, well, don't you want to go fluke fishing to catch the keepers? And uh, not necessarily, I just, I fish for fun, so this is fun to me, so I enjoy doing this. And I'd want to see my dad catch a couple. That's pretty much the goal of this so day. Hopefully that's a good sign, and we could catch some more. We're bucktailing one ounce bucktails with gulp. So, we're going to see what we could do here. Dad, got one. Here we are hooked up again, and guys, the gear I'm using is a St. Croix Triumph Series 7 foot um, spinning rod with a Shimano Sedona 3000 size reel, and I am using 15 pound braid with a 20 pound monofilament leader. I know most of the time the leader should be lighter than the, the, than the main line, but in this case this works perfectly for me so this is the setup I'm using and I'm using a one ounce Spro Bucktail uh, in sand eel color with a 3 uh top teaser hook and they're both um, both have gulp on them three inch swimming mullets one chartreuse and one white and my dad is using pretty much the same setup his rod is a, he's using an ugly stick, seven foot rod, but it has, I think, 20 pound braid on his, and the same bucktails, the same gulp, the same everything. And that fluke right there, if you just saw, spit up three spearing, which shows that there's a good amount of bait in this water, and I'll find that out in a little bit, that there's a lot of bait in this water. So now right here I'm fishing along this drop off, It's uh, the beach just drops off into a little pocket right here, and yeah, uh, I actually, you can't see it on camera, but there's tons of bait in this drop off, tons of spearing, just schools of spearing, I'm looking at it right now, you can't see it in the video, the GoPro doesn't pick it up, but these fluke are just hanging out in this drop off, right where all of these spear schools of spearing are. See, right there, just picked one up, fell off, but right in front of me, there's just a drop-off, and that's where these fish are hanging out. I don't even have to cast five feet in front of me if I really want to. I'm casting parallel with the shore, but in all reality, I could just drop it down right in front of me. And this bait is going to... You're going to see how much bait is actually in the water in a little bit. There's going to be... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. You guys will see in a little bit what happens. Alright guys, I didn't get it on camera, but just picked one up.
so cool. There we go. My dad just hooked up. There we go guys. My dad kind of got on a roll there. Um, just picked up like three fish in a row. I didn't get the first one on video, but caught like three fish in a row and that makes my day right there. There we go guys, there's number nine. And guys, this is what I was talking about. You'll see how much bait is in the water. Yep, the bluefish rolled in and they're destroying this bait. You'll even see the bait surfacing on land because the bluefish are just pushing all the bait onto shore. There's just that much bait in the water. If you see by my foot, right foot, right uh, corner of the camera right there, you'll see the bait uh, flapping on the surface, and you'll just see all the bluefish just in the water. But yeah, these bluefish rolled in, and that's uh, all that bait is really showing itself now. So now my dad. Uh, first time in probably like 10 years comes down to the beach and sees a little bluefish blitz. This is this is pretty cool. I'm happy that this happened. And it just happened out of nowhere, guys. Just all of a sudden the bluefish just started going crazy. So, oh, there's so many bluefish. Just happens in a blink of an eye. And I did switch over to a little epoxy jig oh, that looks so exactly like these spearing. And well, in this scenario, it wouldn't really matter what you threw at the bluefish there in a feeding frenzy where you could just pretty much throw anything at them. But I just tie on this little epoxy jig and yeah, that's where I'm catching them on right now. Look, they're moving down. Yeah, we should have just stayed. And these bluefish are going crazy all, like up and down this beach, guys. So no matter where you throw it, you're going to get hit like instantaneously. They are small, but this is a good eating size if you eat fish. Uh, they're called cocktail bluefish at this size. And these are like one of the best eating size for bluefish. Uh, I do not eat fish on a regular basis so I'm not going to keep anything I catch but it was just fun to catch them
and now we're back to fluking. The bluefish moved down the beach a little bit. Uh, I don't feel like chasing after them. I actually came here to f mainly fluke. The bluefish were just a little side fun, but I'm, all I'm really interested in is uh, really fluking for the most part. So the bluefish was fun while it lasted, but back to fluking. now the bluefish are back so I made a mistake by not switching off my bucktail and they actually tore up the hair on the bucktail a little bit because I probably caught like three or four of them on the bucktail I don't think I show them all in the video but they actually chomped up the hair for some reason I wasn't thinking and I just kept casting the bucktail in there but it's okay still there. Just cast and reel. You don't even have to jig it. I'm not. I'm pulling in the fish. Come on, right? Now he's fighting. Whose sunglasses were those? Where? There was just a pair of sunglasses in the water. Oh, there? Mm. Oh, and look right here, guys. That's a great, oh, they're great find. Too. I That's just awesome. found a pair of Ray-Bans Ray floating These on the beach. Really nice polarized Ray-Bans. I was actually just talking about getting a pair of these, and then I just found one, so perfect find for me. Fast forward two weeks and we're here um, back at Sandy Hook, but now it is completely low tide. In the two weeks ago when I went, it was full high tide. Now it's low tide, so I have to walk out here a little bit to get some good distance on my cast. And yeah, we're bucktown for fluke again. And this was actually like my last cast I was gonna make, and I so I start walking back and dragging it a little bit. That's not really a good technique because I was just getting lazy. I was. I already took a good amount of cast before this and I was starting to head back in and uh, yeah, watch what happens here. It's pretty crazy. Got something, guys. Thanks. Yeah, I laid into a nice, nice fluke, fluke on guys. that. Big uh, fluke. Sadly, it was side hooked, so uh, it's kind of a little bit annoying, I would say. Um, I wish I got it in the mouth, but nonetheless, this is a nice fish here, guys.
and yeah, it would have probably been good to have someone standing right by my side. Uh, my girlfriend is, it's funny, she was just right over the hump, she just couldn't see me, but I had trouble <laughs> landing this fish by myself, I didn't have a net, and all I had were my hands, so I tried to grab the tail a couple of times, that wasn't working. At At this point, I'm thinking that it's going to come off. I've been fighting it for a little bit now, and I keep going to attempt to grab it, and it keeps swimming away. I thought it was going to come off for sure. But luckily, the car drawn, the cards are in my favor, and right here, there we go. I grab it a little bit and just push it up. That's a big fluke. Please see me. <gasps> but yeah, this is a nice fluke. This is the biggest fluke I've caught off off the surf. So this was awesome. Oh, guys, look at that fluke. And right here, um, out in the water, right there, boom. This happened a lot today. Right when I just looked oh, down, I just guys, I actually fluke. stepped on a fluke. Uh, and I, you step on the sand, and you feel something squishy and soft, and then you feel it swim out from under your feet. Yeah, that's just, you're stepping on a small fluke. And yeah, that happened quite a bit this day, like five times probably, to be exact. And uh, that just shows me that there's small fluke in the area. That means there's bigger fluke in the area. Something that just means in general there's fluke in the area, which is a good sign. So yeah, I'm out here. Now I'm out here much further because it is lower. So I'm out where you see that dark blue water. That's a, like, kind of like a drop off where it gets deep. So I'm standing in the shallower water. It's probably up to my waist, casting into that deep blue water. And I'm actually surprised to what I'm hooked up to now that I have not caught more. I've been to Sandy Hook a couple times this year to do some surf casting and this is the first one of these that I've caught. The first sea robin I caught off the beach, which is really weird to me. Uh, all I've caught were fluke, but I finally caught a sea robin. And I actually don't mind sea robin, I actually like fighting sea robin. So this was actually pretty cool for me, catching a sea robin off the beach. Now I'm just trying to get it to stop flapping. And there he goes. Oh, it got off. That's crazy. <coughs> I thought it was going to stay up. And this right here will be my last fish of the video. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll definitely be back with more videos, but just show the su support, man. Um, my shirts are still available now. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see them. My Instagram will be linked below. Pick up a shirt, and look at this. Just a perfect fish tank size fluke. But yep, this is my last fish of the video. And, uh, no, he's not dead. So... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.